to our family and to all the good things in store for all of us. Starting today. Are you not mad at me anymore? No, not after you said that you would take me to the docks to go rollerblading. No, no way. I mean, the, the, the docks are far too dangerous. <laughs> Stars only just learned how to rollerblade, and I don't think it's a very good idea. Isn't that right? Don't you agree, Blair? I paid you $10,000 to get Buchanan off my back. Did you do it or not? Of course. I told him your story checks out. Blair! How stupid do you think I am? He took my money and kept working for Buchanan. I wasn't smart. Mel Williams Medical Center for Orthopedic Surgery. I called earlier about Walker Lawrence. You have that information for me? Try a little more draw next time. Yeah, I'll try that. What are you here so early for? Your shift doesn't start till later. Actually, I'm covering for Christian. He's on an interview to show some of his paintings at a New York art gallery. Not much to cover. Well, we need to find a way to get some people in here because Christian and I definitely need the tips. Well, why are you messing with selling drinks when you can make some serious money with that stick of yours? Now that Jen and Rex are divorced, there's no reason why we can't be together. Well, I'm glad you waited. <clears throat> and now we'd like to take the next step. We want to be married as soon as possible. I missed you so much, Mom. I missed you too, baby. How was the retreat? The retreat? Well, it was interesting. Several of the university trustees wanted to burn me at the stake <laughs> because of this whole Marcy Walsh business. But as you can see, I am back unsinged and actually in very good fighting form. It's great. Yeah. So how's everything been here? All right? Okay. Okay. Tell me. Mom, it's, it's so awful. What's awful? What happened? Well, Carrie's definitely trying to stop Antonio from ever seeing his daughter. That's awful. What is Antonio doing about it? Everything wrong. Vega is going back to Statesville where he belongs. And not because of what happened with me last night. Because of what he's done to you. I'm not pressing charges against him. What? I can't. You're going to let him get away with this? He didn't do anything. It was me. I did it to myself. You. Deliberately. I wanted to get back at Antonio. I wanted to ruin his life. When I came out of ultraviolet, I saw Antonio just, just beating on RJ, hitting him over and over and over again. I'm very sorry you had to see that. I don't know what to do, Mom. I care about him so much. I, we've been getting close, and when I see him with his daughter, he's just so sweet and loving. He loves her so much. What? His explosions, they terrify me. Has he ever done anything to you? No, no, never, nothing. It's just when I saw him hitting RJ, it, it brought back all the memories of what he did to Mitch, and I, I can't deal with that kind of violence. You know, Jesse, um, I had a similar situation with Ben when I found out about his past. Well, how did you deal with it? 
I believed in him, and I believed in my own heart. So, are you saying I should give Anton another chance? No, I think what you need to do first is find out the facts. Find out why he was fighting with R.J., what prompted it, and certainly what caused him to overreact the way he did. Do that before you decide anything. Carrie, why would you hurt yourself and tell me Antonio did it? So you'd go after him? Make him hurt, too? But I didn't know it was going to go so far, RJ. I mean, he could have killed you, and it's all because of me. No. No, no. It's because of Vega. I just told you. How he drove you to it. I'm so sorry, Dad. Well, don't be. I'm not. Because now we can really make him pay. No. This has gone way too far. Mm -hmm. No, no, it hasn't. Not by a long shot. Jen, you almost married Al. You almost married Christian. You married Rex. Now you want to marry Joey. That's not exactly a great track record. It's different with Joe. Why? Because I love him. We love each other. And we want to be married in the eyes of God. And it would mean a lot to us if you would perform the ceremony. I think you should wait. But you're not going to do that, are you? If you won't perform the ceremony, we'll find someone else. I can see that. We're going to make this work. Once again, once again, you put me in a very, very awkward position, and I'm going to have to do something about it. What? Not stand in the way of true love. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, uh, I'll have to go back to you. Sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to tell you that... Well, thank you for handing that diamond over so easily to that dreadful man. You saved my life. Saved my life, too. Okay. So? Why do I have the feeling that there's something more to this? Paranoid? Oh, it just you strike me as somebody who doesn't give up so easily when you want something. I noticed. Neither am I. What's taking River so long? I, you know, I don't know, sweetie. I mean, he has a lot to say to whoever he's talking to. Well, you know what? It's cutting down on my rollerblading time, and I've got Star! To... Star, come back here. What rollerblading? Hi. Right. You got a minute, or are you going to run off? I, am. Uh, I'm sorry about dinner the other night. Then well, why don't we try it again tonight? As long as we don't talk about Don. Oh, it was that bad, huh? I just don't want to constantly be reminded, that's all. I'll do my best. Okay. I know, I know, I want to see you too. Hey, listen, when can you sneak out of Miss Vegas? Okay. All right, I'll meet you there in an hour, all right? Cool. <laughs> hey! Hey. What happened to you taking me rollerblading down at the docks? <sighs> Something's come up. I'm really sorry. Well, you know what? You promise. Yeah, I'll make it up to you. All right? Promise. You know, Walker, maybe we should keep our business business. And Why? Sure, it's just dinner. So why not? I'd love to have dinner with you. So you wanted to see me? So what's going on with the two of you? Oh, it's just uh, 
What? Stupid charity softball game that we got to be involved softball. with. It's the TV guys or the newspaper guys, and we got to go over our lineup or something. Right. So uh, let's go talk about that. OK. Um, what are Walker and Kevin doing together? Hmm. They say it's softball, but I think it's hardball. I know you've had a P.I. on my tail. So let me save you time and money. What's this? Everything you always wanted to know about Walker Lawrence. A black widow. She is my idol. Jeanette Lee. God, you're good. Excellent. So the black widow once in Atlantic City. She hit a triple bank shot. Minnesota fats couldn't touch. Wow, well, you're pretty up on the pool thing. How come you play? I did. So that's how you know Rockham. She used to well, that we used to play each other every now and then. So what happened? He kept shooting. I hung up my cue. Why? It takes an awful lot of discipline, something I'm not really known for. Oh, whoa, whoa, did you see that shot? The Black Widow is so amazing. Oh. Would you like to play her? <laughs> Get real, OK? No, I'm real. This, you're loaded with talent. Yeah, not like her. Where you think she started out that good? It takes a lot of hard work to shoot a decent stick. You're serious. Yeah, I'm serious. You've got uh, more potential than I have seen in a long time. Yeah, well, it's going to take a lot more than potential to live, so I think I'm going to stick with fixing hair and serving some drinks. Mm. Well, not today you're not, because there's nobody to serve, so you may as well go home. A little more draw, huh? Think about it. to wait to break the news. Actually, that's kind of good. It's, it's not like your family loves me. Hey. They love me. And they're going to like anything that makes me happy. Joey? Jen? <clears throat> Jess, we, uh, we have some news. We're getting married. Uh, are you serious? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just get divorced like two minutes ago? Yeah, but it's not like Rex and I were even ever seriously really married. Um, well, isn't, uh, isn't this going to compete a little bit with Natalie and Christian's wedding? No, no, no. They're not getting married till the fall. We're going to get married right away. Does mom know? No. You're the first to know, but we're going to tell her as soon as she gets here. Uh, well, uh, congratulations. <sighs> Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> I hope you guys are, um, really happy. We will be. When two people belong together, nothing can keep them apart. Please stop worrying about me. I'm fine. No, you are not fine, and it's Vega's fault. I told you he didn't do it. He didn't lay a hand on me. He still hurt you. And the scars he left are going to last a lot longer than that bruise on your face. What about what I did to him? You loved him. That's why you came back to town, because of that love. If he had loved you, he wouldn't have hopped into bed with every woman who came by. He thought I was dead. No, he didn't. Not the first time. Not when he slept with your mother. I have to think about Jamie. I'm thinking about her, too. Look at my face. Oh, just remember your own, then. 
Vega has no control or loyalty. Do you want a man like that around your daughter? He loves her. He would never hurt her. He loves everyone for a time. He loved you, but he hurt you. And he'll do it again unless we stop him. Have you seen Star and River? No, I thought they went rollerblading a little. The why you gave them permission, I'll never know. I didn't. Star said she was going to find out who River was talking to. I'll go find her. It's all there. Every address I ever had, every school I went to, school pictures, every dentist I ever saw. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, it's Buchanan. I can't work for you anymore. Lawrence is on to me. Yeah, I heard that. You know, you should uh, check your sources for your story. He's there? That's right. I didn't tell him what I found out. He thinks I didn't get anything on him for you. Well, thanks for the update. I'll get back to you. All right, bye. She's hitting you up for more money, huh? What? P.I. That was her on the phone, wasn't it? Listen, uh, tell her next time you see her, she owes me $10,000. So what do you think? What do I think? Well, I'll tell you what. How much time did it take you to come up with all this stuff? My whole life. It's the real deal. The real deal. Well, we'll see. It's about time you got back. That was just your father on the phone. He's on his way over here. I can't talk to him. You are not going rollerblading with Star, so just get that out of your mind. Look, I kind of... What? What? You've got other plans. I just don't see why I need to talk to him right now, you know? Oh, how about he is going to allow you to keep living with me? <laughs> Did he say that? With a bit of encouragement from me. Well, you don't want to let this opportunity go by, do you? Where is Star? I don't know. I thought she was with you. Well, she's not. Oh, did you look in the ladies' room? Yes, I looked. Oh. Hetty, it's Blair. Is Star there with you? Star missing? She's probably just hiding somewhere. You know Star. Anything to get attention. Lay off, Dorian. She's not about that. And how would you know so much about Star? Was she upset about anything today? No, she was thrilled because River here was going to take a rollerblading. River? Well, she might have been ticked off because I sort of... I, I had to cancel on her. What? You let Star go rollerblading alone? No. Let her down. She kind of heroes. Dorian! Star's backpack's not even in the coat room. It's got a lot of rollerblading stuff in it. What? Oh, that little. That, she, she's gone down to the docks to rollerblade by herself. I'll drive you. Maybe we can be. We don't even know how long she's been there. She's a smart kid. She won't do anything oh. stupid. I can't handle it, really. Oh, and here's your father. Hi, I'm so sorry, I'm late. How are you, sir? No, no, it's perfectly all right. And... Dorian, please. Please, help your grandmother sit down like a uh, gentleman. No, no, you... uh, Andrew, I've asked him to call me Dorian. My preference... Okay. <sighs> all right, River. Um, your mom and I talked. And we have found a very good school for you, one that specializes in learning disabilities. There is nothing really wrong with River. You're right, Dorian. There's nothing wrong with River. Like, there's nothing wrong with a kid who needs glasses, but he needs glasses to see better, and River needs a school to learn better. Dad, I'm not going to a boarding school. I and you're not you going to have to go to a boarding school. You're going to... school's right here in Lambview. 
Well, well then why? Well, then that means you can stay with your grandmother, Dorian, through the fall. If it's uh, all right with her. If it's all right. If it's wonderful, River. <laughs> Scott, but there are conditions. What is that? This is a contract in writing. Now you adhere to this contract. Dad, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to. Uh, yes. Uh, don't you trust us? Don't make me answer that question, please. Follow the rules. Or go straight to boarding school. She's here. Well, oh, don't worry. I'll bring her to you. Well, she won't have any choice now, will she? What's your pleasure? You all right? It's just seeing you behind the bar, Max. I still somehow expect to see Ben. I'll never fill his shoes. <laughs> so how's business, huh? Well, we're not exactly turning them away, but we just need word to spread and a draw. Oh, you have something in mind? Oh, a certain little redhead you know and love. Natalie? Have you ever seen her shoot pool? No, I can't say I have. Why? You should. Really? Mm-hmm. Where'd she learn that? Probably her mom. I, I mean, her other, well, <laughs> Roxy, okay. Well, good for her. I was awarded a pair of fuzzy dice because I won a karaoke contest. Mm. Hang them on your rearview mirror. <laughs> yeah, ben thought it would be a nice touch. First time we ever danced was here. First time he ever kissed me was right here. special. It was magical for Ben and for me. I really hope that other people can find the magic too. Mm, don't mind me. I'm just staying here because Christian's in New York. <laughs> hey, Natalie. We have something to tell you. Crazy in love, yeah. Got that. We're getting married. 
What, what about Rex? He gave me the divorce. How about, um, congratulations? Sorry, but I think you're making the biggest mistake of your life, Joe. And I suggest that you get out while you still can. You mean like Christian? Yes. That's exactly what I mean. Just needs the right brushes. Hope this helps you make the right strokes. I love you, Christian. I come in? Actually, I was just on my way out. I have to pick up Jamie from the babysitters. This will only take a minute. I wanted to apologize for the other morning when you came by Antonio's and I was there. Don't tell me it wasn't what it looked like. It was exactly what it looked like. Then what are you apologizing for? For lying about staying away from Antonio? Carrie, I said that I'd think about it, and I'm sorry that you misunderstood. You knew how I felt about him. He doesn't feel the same way about you. But he does about you. Yes. And I hope that you won't punish him for that by keeping him from his daughter. That's what you think I'm doing. Isn't it? I mean, you're hurt, and you want to hurt back. But Carrie, the only one that's going to get hurt in the end here is Jamie. Things haven't exactly picked up, so if you're here to hustle tips... No tips. Is that what I think it is? Yep, Christian got it for me. Check it out. Oh. So 
It's a nice piece of equipment. Yeah? Good enough to uh, take on the Black Widow? You up for the challenge? If you're up for teaching me. You're getting married? When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Look, I, I know I'm blindsiding you with this, Mom, but please. Wish us the best. Oh, sweetheart. I mean, I mean, that, that's all I've ever wanted for you. Well, that's what I'm getting. It, it seems so sudden. Yeah, yeah, that's what Andrew said, too. So he thought it'd be best if we had the wedding here instead of at St. James. Just family. And uh, I hope you can make it, Kevin. Let you and me have a man to man, Joey. I know you don't approve. I guess I don't understand what the hurry is. I, I don't know why you and Joey don't wait. You know, you've been through so much this year. We all have. And Joe is the one person who got me through all that. He's given me so much. And I just, I want to give him a little bit back. Now, you're not going to start in on me, too, are you? Oh, I just wanted to congratulate you. Really? Well, sure. Looks like you're going to have it all. Great calling, beautiful wife. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you worked your way up to being bishop of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that'll help you with your run for the White House. I'm just saying, there's not anything you can't do when you've got the right woman behind you. Like Kelly? Exactly like Kelly. You know, that's the only thing that got me through losing her. How much you two love each other. And we did. Did. <laughs> what about now? Well, you still think we'd be married if we didn't love each other, Joe? I love my daughter, and I would never hurt her. Then how can you cheat her out of knowing her father? Think about how different your life would have been, and how glad you are now to have RJ. Yes, I am glad. If you love your daughter, you won't do this to her. It's because I love her that I can't. That doesn't make any sense. Antonio is a violent man. You've seen it yourself. He'd never hurt his baby. You think so? He'd never hurt anybody he'd loved. You know that. No, I don't think I know that. How can you say that? I've seen Antonio's temper, and I'm not just talking about recently. He's never taken it out on you. Oh, no? What's in the agreement? River, please. <clears throat> I, River Carpenter, agreed to... Hey, son, try this. I, River Carpenter, Agree to the following terms. Excuse me, honey, I'm going to interrupt here. Why is he using the pen? Because the pen is one of the techniques he's, he's learned to help him with his reading. Yeah. Make me look like an idiot. Well, school. not at this school. At this school, the kids move at their own pace. Everybody does what works for them. Right? How about nothing? How about you don't stay at your grandmother's house? Oh. All right. May I interject that? I promise you, I will do everything I can to help. Come on. River, use the pen. And sign the agreement. Thank you. Come on, I'll give you a ride home, and we'll go over the reading list. Yes, and I'll be home soon.
look like we're together. Otherwise, I'll pull the trigger. You know, this is getting really tiring. Oh, I'm so sorry. I oh, won't ever baby, baby, see baby. you alone ever again. Stop. Just stop. I'm just so glad you're off. Because of what? Oh, Thank you. Ah. Ah. My... I think my... My show. Walker? Uh. Oh, Walker! Walker! Mom, we gotta see him. He's the only one who knows where Dad is. What? On the next One Life to Live. She can't hurt us. But what about you? Are you gonna hurt her anymore? Jill and I are getting married. Tomorrow. You said that Walker was the only one who knew where Daddy was. What did you mean? Has Walker seen Daddy? Don't want to wait until the weekend to see all of this week's One Life to Live episodes? Catch same-day episodes weeknights at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. So, miss today's episode tonight.